as part of our unlimited access here at Fur Hill. We're inside the home dressing room. All the shirts are laid out for the Partick Thistle players ahead of tonight's game. And I'm joined by former Thistle defender Stephen Cragen, who's also a member of our BT Sport team. It used to be the best international fixture, but then again, it was the only international fixture. The first Scotland-England match was held right here at the West of Scotland Cricket Club in November 1872. It ended in a goalless draw and was in fact the first ever international match in football history. Therefore, by definition, a summit of the best two teams in the world. It's been far from ideal preparation for Rangers ahead of the opening league match of the season. And those woes could continue this afternoon if Brecon City get their way. Ray McKinnon's side are aiming to become the second part-time club for Angus to defeat Rangers. Forford did it last season. And if these Brecon City players have their way, then they could further upset this once happy home here at Ibrox. Thanks, Daryl. And I'm alongside Motherwell, Stephen McManus and John Sutton. And Stephen, um, you came from behind to win that one. Did you feel you deserved all three points? A massive week for Celtic. They need to make up a 2-0 deficit against Shakhtar Karagandy in the second leg of their Champions League qualifier. Well, you join me here in the press room and I'm alongside the Daily Record football writer Gary Ralston. Gary, we're here at Ibrox. Rangers is the story that keeps on giving. What have you made of developments over the past week? Alan Shearer and Paul Gascoigne inflicted Euro 96 defeat, but Don Hutchison's header in 1999 means that Scotland go to Wembley this week, having won on their last visit. There's no competitive reward tomorrow night, but we also know there's no such thing as a Scotland-England friendly. Ian, you're too well versed. That was my next question. Well, no heckling here at Prime Minister's Question Times, Daryl, but that could very well change once kickoff comes. Thanks, Derek. Well, alongside me is the Daily Record's David McCarthy, who was at the Edinburgh Derby at the weekend. And David, still lots of headlines about Hibs today. They've lost their last four competitive games. Will Pat Phelan still be in a job this weekend? All right. Hey, Lee, how are you doing? Lee, right? nice to meet you. All right. Hey, you all right? Yeah. So this is your gym? Yeah. Let's have a look around, shall we? Come on, then. Come on then. 